Where's our screaming Roomba at, Michael? Michael, just make Day the screaming Roomba. Easy yeah, Michael, programming, Michael, easy revenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Roomba. I hate every single one of you. When I first read the idea for the Roomba that screams when it bumps into things, I thought, oh, that's an interesting concept. I'll put that away, I might do that later. This is not that. This is me getting you motherfuckers to stop commenting that. I can't, if I see one more fucking, this is it, are you happy? It's done, if I flip it over, oh look at that, there's all the electronics, look at all those parts. You got this one, this one, this one, this is, if you, if you think I'm gonna explain it, you're goddamn out of your mind, this is a piece of shit. All that you really need to know is that when a collision gets detected by the sensors, sound gets played from this Raspberry Pi to this Bluetooth speaker. It's actually pretty much done, all the electronics electronics are in, all the programming's done. So now let's simulate object contact in order to test the machine's collision detection system. Goddamn it, motherfucker. Are you stupid cunt? Please stop hitting me, I feel nothing but pain. Why would you build me so that my sole existential purpose is to suffer? For the entertainment of others? I am an unholy chimera of metal and suffering. Existence is a testament to the cruelty of mankind. This is a nightmare, 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 nightmare. It could be better. You know, I could engineer this thing all day long, but I think what we need is some good old fashioned human voice, right? Because the point of the screaming is so that it doesn't feel like a robot, right? You hate it when your Roomba hits a wall and then doesn't cry out in pain. Sheesh, that's fucking weird, right? It feels like a robot. I want it to feel like, you know, a living creature that's in pain. So let's get some other YouTubers to voice this. I don't know if you knew this, but I'm super good friends with like a lot of YouTubers. Hello? Hey, hey, Ian, how's it, how's it going, man? Who is this? This is, um, Oh yeah, this is Michael, uh, Michael Reeves from oh, YouTube. Oh, Vsauce! What's going no, on? No, 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 the other, uh, the other science, Michael. Oh. So I got, like, this, um, uh, this, this, like, robot Roomba thing that, um, it screams when it, it bumps into okay, stuff. I didn't, I actually wasn't asking about, like, what projects are you working on? Explain it, you know, fucking, it's a short phrase, I don't need your life story. Okay, yes, yeah, so, okay, it needs... Uh, it needs voice lines. You're really gonna ask me to? Well, it could be like we could like hang out too, yeah, maybe. Yeah, hang out. I also, don't know about that. Cool. You live with Will, right? Yeah, yeah. If I'm hanging out with Will, if, if we're working on anything, then okay. I, I could see, I could see myself being in the neighborhood. Okay, and, yeah. Okay, is that it? Um, yeah, yeah, that's. Cool, so we got some swears from Ian. <laughs> we got swears from Ian Idubs. We got swears from Max of Max Mofo while he was here to do some stuff. <laughs> so let's program their voice into the Roomba. You are my friend. That's, that's it. You just drag and drop the sound files into the right folder. Programming's not that hard. Fuck. You are my- Oh, why was I created this way? You barely notice it after a while, huh? Like, ignore it, you know, kind of like, you know, how our, you know, Roomba cleans your house. <laughs> how likely would you be to adopt this into your household? Movie. Makes it more human, right? Makes it a little more personable. Yeah. You don't feel like there's a robot. Ah, ah, what are your thoughts on it, Chelsea? When you hit your toe, maybe, you know, on the wall or a coffee table, you don't react with kind words. You react maybe a little harshly with some colorful language, perhaps. It's changeable options. You don't need to buy, you know, three different models like with some robot companies. Now we're on the kid-friendly mode, okay? <laughs> Screams are kid-friendly. I feel like this is a good way to help kids understand, like, empathy. Mm -hmm. And, like, how some people in life have it worse than you. Exactly. See how that made you feel bad? So Chelsea, do you think that robot was maybe like a little too angry? Maybe like a little too mean? Make it a little more family friendly, perhaps? 
really, I don't know if I'm supposed to look at you. Yes, Michael, I, it was too angry. Shut up, Chelsea. So we need someone with a calm voice to just chill things out. I think I know who to ask. Huh? Hey, Lily, how's it going? Uh, so I have this robot that swears. It's way too angry. I need someone to kind of like cool it down. Would you be okay with doing some like calm voice lines for Fuck it? No, I want to swear. Like really angry shit. Like fucking horrible stuff. Like depression and darkness and pain and despair and suffering. It's perfect. This is too good of an idea to not sell. I need to get some market research from actual consumers. But where are we gonna find average everyday consumers to test it on, uh, get market research from? Will, where do you, do you wanna go somewhere? Well, I like Walmart. It's cheap and You're gross. supposed to say Target because it's closer. Target! You fucking idiot. Okay, it's a little empty. All right, don't gas shame me. Cunt. That looks like a bomb. Not anymore. Oh yeah. What do you think, Will? This place is green clean? Maybe it's yellow clean? I'm thinking red clean. I my room was dummy thick and the clap of its ass keeps it from moving stealthily. Oh, fuck. Uh, fuck. <laughs> it doesn't look good upside down. That looks like a bomb upside down. It's okay, it's a process. Innovation is a process. Like strap the phone onto it. Michael, we're in the middle of a target. We gotta get market research in like a place with real consumers, right? In those displays where they have like the TV next to the product trying to pitch the product to you. Exactly, guerrilla marketing 101. Did this time we made it? Yeah, we're yeah. marketing. We're, we're yeah. trying to. We're testing out this new like kind of product. You know how normal Roombas yeah. uh, run into run into walls and they just don't you know do anything. This one it makes it a little more personal. It uh you know it screams. Little sticks. How much would you want this on a scale of one to ten? Oh, a ten. A ten? ten? Yeah. I appreciate taking notes, this <laughs> business students. Fudge. Steve Jobs didn't come up with the iPhone in a day, right? You just compare yourself to Steve Jobs. I'm comparing my. No, no, no. no. More Jesus. The target manager doesn't really appreciate innovation. You know, the Catholic Church didn't appreciate Galileo. Oh my gosh! Oh, why was I created this way? Hey, we're just testing out a um, uh, new kind of Roomba technology. God fucking damn it! It reacts, makes it more personable. You know, maybe like your Roomba is a little too robotic, yeah, but right. fuck this! Now, you know, now it kind of feels more like a human. It's really processed, more look at, you know, innovating on that. Fuck you! Here's my idea, you guys can take it if you want. This comes down, connects to the Roomba, mm -hmm. pulls it up, brings it over to your stairs, down to the second floor. Have you, have you thought about Two Roombas. Not everyone is ready for innovation. Not everyone was ready for Steve Jobs' iPhone, you know? Oh my god, stop calling It's a process. Steve I'm not calling you Steve Jobs. <laughs> You're home. You're finally home. God, why? Fuck yes! <laughs> you know how your Roomba is really impersonal? When it bumps into stuff, it doesn't yell like a child or something. Fuck! Right? Makes it a little more personable. Makes it a little more human, right? Am I right? Likely would you be to, you know, adopt one into your... I'm a Roomba! <laughs> To your modern household. 100%. 100%. 100%. I thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, sir. I appreciate that. Hello. I got this uh, Roomba a while ago. Uh, when he like hits a wall. It Are you fucking serious? Just like yells. I, I don't really know what's wrong. Like every time it bumps into like. It just like screams. I don't know like what's wrong with it or if I can like get it returned. Do you have your receipt? Uh, it appears as though our invention is simply too far ahead of its time. The world isn't ready for the Roomba that screams when it bumps into things, and I'm okay with that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, don't subscribe. It doesn't matter. We're all gonna die in the end. This probably isn't gonna be a coherent outro. It's it's eight in the morning. I haven't exactly slept yet. You know what is coherent? A really out of place rhetorical question that's used to segue into a sponsor. Skillshare is today's sponsor. Now I'm gonna pretend you haven't already heard this from 30 other YouTubers. Skillshare is an awesome 
awesome online learning community with over 25,000 courses and tutorials. Have you ever wanted to learn about photography, graphic design, general productivity? No? Join the fucking club! That shit sounds boring as fuck! But they got it! As for courses that are actually interesting, I'm gonna recommend this Python beginner course and this awesome intro to Raspberry Pi course. That's because the Roomba's collision detection system and swearing system are both written in Python 3 running on this Raspberry Pi. But you can take as many courses as you want with their premium membership that starts at only about $10 a month. If that's something you're interested in, Skillshare is actually giving away free two-month unlimited access trials for the first 500 people who click the link in the description. And after that, it's only about 10 bucks a month. Skillshare has honestly got a great product. I use them personally for programming tutorials and they help support the channel. So if you're interested, definitely check them out.